Hey, what's up guys? So welcome back to episode 24 of the How to Make a Plant Cell Zombie style of game in Unity. And today we are adding the zombie encountering system to the almanac from previous episode. So let's get started. Let's start by actually create, setting up the scene. So we'll create a new game object called the Encountering Manager. This will handle our script that we will see later on. Uh, we'll just add the reference here for now. So add component and add the zombie encountering manager script. And then here I add the free zombies as default because the default zombie go ahead and the bucket head. These three we will have it all, always show in the almanac. And then we'll have the pole folder actually being encountered only. Uh, as you can see, uh, here we are just setting up everything. So here basically we are just filling in the names of the zombies, as you can see I'm just copy pasting them. So before moving on to the coding side of things, here is a small overview of how it should look. Uh, as you can see here is the almanac and if we click on plants for instance, we can see every plant that we had, alright the almanac loads. But for the zombies, as you can see for the pole holder, it's well hidden. Alright, so now let's move on to the coding side of things. So here is for the coding part of, of things. So starting off with the zombie encounter manager, which is basically the data store for all the zombies that we've encountered. As you can see, this is a simple class, alright, it just has a singleton a pref preference name to store the actual encountered list uh, we will be looking at this later on and in here we are just initializing everything as you can see and then having some static functions uh, to help us guess if we encountered a zombie or not as you can see we've got the encountered which returns whether or not we encountered it and so on and here is the cancel details because for plot cards we can show everything but for zombie cards we are a little bit more restrictive obviously you can change this uh, but for instance you could have it so that you remove this line so it's got to be found and then it just returns encountered uh, then this would make it so that even plants should be encountered first but that's it and then moving on next here is the actual encountered list class which basically contains an array of strings for all the names of the zombies that we found and here we've got two methods for now first one is encounter which basically adds whichever name we pass in to the encountered list and then another one is the did encounter which basically loop, loops through everything here and finds whether this name exists and then we've added two more uh, functions one is save, which saves this current class in the player prof. And another one is a static function, which returns an encountered list called load, which basically just takes whichever, whatever value is in the player prof and then returns an object of type encountered list. And now to actually implement uh, the encountering function into the game, we will have to modify the zombie manager script in the spawn zombie. Uh, method so this is the original so as you can see I've added a line here called the zombie encountered manager that encounter selected so that name so basically this registers whichever zombie we just spawned in the database Now moving on to the next script, which is the almanac script. As you can see here, we just added two lines. Basically line 28, we added a small check to see if we can show this current card. Uh, if we can, we just return the card description as we just write not encountered yet. Again, for this case here, it just checks whether or not we are a plant card or whether or not we actually encountered this zombie. 
and this is the only conditions that this returns true and this on the void show amana cards we just call card.setDarken which basically as you can see here is the amana item card as you can see here we added the setDarken method which basically just uh, see if we can show the details of such cards if we can then we color it white and then we can show the name of the uh, zombie else we color this white black and then we don't show the name of the zombie and then don't forget to also call set darken and the uninitialized method here so this marks the end of uh, the coding session now uh, also the end of this video so before we go here is a small overview of how it should look uh, as you can see here is the pole folder and if we go into Alamanac, here it is it's unlocked so this marks the end of this video if you guys found this video helpful or interesting please be sure to leave a like subscribe have not already and if you have any questions queries or suggestions please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and yeah so i'll see you guys next one bye